Hi and welcome to IPM Leap. In today's video lesson, I am going to show you the trick to solve one of the frequently asked questions in entrance exams, which is finding the missing page number of a book. The question is there on your screen. I am going to build the base for this question by solving two similar but easier questions and then I will illustrate this particular math problem. So keep a notebook and pen ready and let's begin. Okay, so a related and much simpler question is a book has 55 pages numbered 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 55. What is the sum of all the page numbers of this book? Now, clearly in a book, the page numbers are all consecutive natural numbers and we know that the sum of first n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2. To learn this formula, you may watch this video of ours that we have dedicated purely to the discussion of this formula. So back to this question, we have to find the sum of first 55 natural numbers. Using the formula given above, 55 into 56 by 2 is equal to 1540. So sum of all page numbers of this book is 1540. Next is a reverse question on the same concept. The sum of the pages of a book is 630. Find the number of pages in this book. So how do we go about this question? Let us suppose that there are n pages in this book. Their sum is 630. That means n into n plus 1 by 2 is equal to 630. n into n plus 1 is equal to 1260. Well, though this is a quadratic equation, we don't really need to solve it because solving a quadratic equation can be quite lengthy at times. Instead, what we will do uh, is some approximations and find n directly because we know that n should be an integer. So we can say that n square is approximately equal to 1260. To simplify the calculations, we can take n and n plus 1 as equal. Next, we can quickly calculate the values of some easy squares, starting with 20. 20 square is equal to 400. 30, 30 square is equal to 900. 40, 40 square is equal to 1600. Since this is a number between 900 and 1600, Let's try 35 square. 35 square is 1225. Again, you may watch this video to quickly find squares of numbers that end in 5. n is equal to 35 as the square of 35 is 1225. And because we have reduced n plus 1 to n, so our n square should be slightly less than 1260. And now comes our main question. All page numbers from a book are added beginning at page number 1. The sum obtained was 1000. However, it was found that while adding one page number was missed out. Which one? And we are given some options. So first of all, let us suppose that the number of pages in this book is equal to n. And page number that was missed out is equal to r. Clearly, R is a page in between, so R should be greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to n. So forming an equation 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up till n minus R is equal to 1000 because page number R was missed out while calculating this sum and R is counted once in numbers from 1 to n. We need to subtract it. That means SN should be slightly greater than 1000. And just like we did in last question, n into n plus 1 by 2 is approximately equal to 1000, which means n into n plus 1 is approximately equal to 2000. And therefore, n square is approximately 2000. To simplify the calculations, we can take n and n plus 1 as equal. Quick iterations, 40 square, 1600, 50 square, 2500. And taking a number in between, 45 square is equal to 2025. Perfect. That means n is close to 45. 
Once we have found out that n is close to 45, next step is simple. S45, the sum of first 45 natural numbers, is 45 into 46 by 2, which is equal to 1035. And since one number was missed out of, out of the first n, the sum obtained was 1000. That means 1035 minus 1000. Page number 35 was missed out. Next logical question is, could there be another possibility for page number R? Let's find out. What if there were 46 pages in the book? Well, sum of first 46 natural numbers is 1035 plus page number 46, which is equal to 1081. That means in this case, 1081 minus 1000. Page number 81 was missed out. But in a book with 46 pages, page number 81 does not exist, isn't it? So this is not possible. What if there were 44 pages in the book? Sum of first 44 natural numbers is 1035 minus page number 45, which is equal to 990. But this is ruled out since total sum of pages can't be less than 1000. Well, that solves our question. Hope you have understood the concept well and can apply it to related questions comfortably from now on. Now try out a similar question. Only this time the number is not missed but double counted. Post your answers in the comments box below. We'll be happy to receive your feedback on our videos and address your doubts and queries. Also, don't forget to like and share. Take care everyone.